our video today. Today we are going to be doing a foam lab. It's going to look something like this little guy in my cup and we're going to go through it step by step. If you are doing a lab like this, it is science chemicals. So you want to make sure that you have your gloves, you have your goggles, your hair tied back and that you're being safe. Well, let's get started. Mm. All right, so the first chemical we're gonna use is actually part of our polyurethane foam. We're gonna call it part A. So part A, as we pour it, make sure that you write down any properties and take note of things that you see about it. So as you look at it, you can see that it's a nice clear liquid. It is pretty viscous, it's kind of like syrup. And it, as I said, is a clear liquid. Now remember, these are lab grade chemicals, so if you are doing an experiment like this, you definitely want to be very careful, very safe, have your goggles on, your gloves on, and appropriate lab equipment so that it does not get on your skin or anything else. Here is part B to our foam lab. You can see it's a different color, it's much darker, a dark brown. We're going to put about the same amount in it as we put in part A. It is much denser, which is why it sinks to the ground or the bottom. It is much denser, which is why it sinks to the bottom. And it is very syrup-like, very thick and viscous. Now that we've got our two parts, we're going to go ahead and start the experiment. You want to have it at a nice little tilt and you want to stir it with a straw. This helps get oxygen into the mixture. And as you're stirring it, just kind of stir it at the same consistent pace. You want to stir it until you feel an exothermic heat reaction. Part of the chemical change in this does result in a heat reaction, so you definitely want to be careful. Once we feel that heat reaction, we're going to stop, watch, and enjoy the magic of the chemical reactions in the foam lab. Make sure that you're not going super fast or super slow. You stay at the same constant speed at a tilt. This will help you to get as much of those chemicals stirred in as possible. All right, I'm starting to feel a little bit of an exothermic reaction. So I'm going to put it down, leaving my straw inside of it so oxygen can continue to get into the mixture and watch the reactions. As you're watching it, it is starting to rise and bubble up. You know that those bubbles are evidence of a chemical change and a new substance being produced. That new substance would be a gas inside of those bubbles. It's rising pretty quickly. Make sure that you do not touch it until it's completely solid. So give it a good while after it's done. But look at it rise. Look at those bubbles, that new substance being formed. We saw a color change. It is now this yellowy color. We saw bubbles of gas. We saw a temperature exothermic heat reaction, and we're seeing the new substance overflow the cup. So this is definitely a chemical change. And again, make sure that you don't touch it while it's going. It is still hot. There is still a chemical change going on, and it's definitely not safe to touch yet. Hey guys, I'm glad that you joined us for our video today, and I hope you enjoyed watching the chemical changes in our foam lab. And if you got to participate and do a foam lab, I hope you had some great results. You can see various results here as well. So I hope you had a good time and have some awesome foam. Remember, do not touch it until it's fully hardened. Make sure you're safe and keep loving science. Bye guys.